advanced players use the pentatonic scale for structure. So how can we sound more advanced when using the pentatonic scale? Today I will answer that question and show you some techniques to level up your lead guitar playing. Today I want to give you some structure to solo over this classic rock groove. I would love to see how many of you can name it. So I'm going to break down some of those licks I did in the intro. I really believe by the end of this video you will have a lot more confidence to solo over this track. And I will leave a link in the description for this awesome backing track I used in the intro. For these examples today just using a blues progression of a famous classic rock song, A7, D7, an E7. Basic blues rock groove and the A minor pentatonic scale works perfectly over these chords. And almost always adding that blue note in there. So this is mostly minor pentatonic, throwing a lot of major notes in there, but I will spell it out here. So that opening major phrase, walking right up to the root note, A major pentatonic. So you're sliding a half step up here to the 11th fret of the D string, 9, 11, 10 of the B string, the root note. There's a lot of different ways to approach licks like this, but really focusing on that root note in the 10th fret here, but maybe bending it all the way up and releasing. So having a full bend, retreating this note. Then we're going back to the first position, minor pentatonic. This is a great lick, just full bend the uh, seventh fret of the G string. As you're reaching the E note here. So and then you actually hit the E note here in the fifth fret of the B string. Blue note. Eight, seven, five back to the root note in the seventh fret of the D string there. Then hammer on to the major third. Then the G note here, which is the, the minor seventh of, of that A7 chord. One more time, that whole phrase. Then sliding up here with your, really need to use these fingers here. This would be the ninth fret of the G string. And, that, and then the eighth fret of the B string. Just a piece of the minor pentatonic. Then we're getting ready to head to that D chord. So I actually just walked right up to the, the major. So you're actually using a piece of the D chord here. That's a D chord, but also looking at, it's really the A major pentatonic again. Minor, chromatically walk up. And then really focusing on that root note, 10th fret of the B string. Then minor pentatonic. So as you're leaving the root note here,
chromatically walk down 12, 11, and 10, 13 of the B string, little tricky there with the hammer on pull off but you're doing it from the 10th fret of the E string one more time slow so we're back to the A chord again first position minor pentatonic full bend so you're just trying to reach the A note, your root note. So you can walk right down that. So full bend, hitting the A here, fifth fret of the E string, then walking down, eight, seven, five, seven, five, back to the root note in the seventh fret, and then that hammer on again. That's really a great way to mix the major and minor pentatonic scale together right in that little box there. You can do this with your pinky if you want. I just have more strength in my third finger here to bend. really be dynamic with some of those hits. Then really as it goes to the E chord, really looking at the, the A minor pentatonic in this position, be the fourth position. But Ben, it's an E chord, so we're, we're actually hitting the E note here in the 12th fret, bending it also. So you're bending to the E note. So maybe three times, and this does not have to be exact. None of these actually do. There's a lot of freedom here. A Clapton-type lick in there. I really like this. Add some speed to your playing. So you're, you're doing the bend. Pick both of these. Then... So one, two, hit the E string, and then hammer on and pull off. And then hit the D note, 15th fret of the B string. So if you're not familiar with this, do it slow. You will be able to get this if you do it slow and work up the speed. And you'll be able to work that speed up. Back to that bend again. And then really tagging this G note, 15th fret of the E string. I love that sound. It reminds me of Jimmy Page right there. To finish it off, you can really walk right down the minor pentatonic scale. firm believer in structure when it comes to the fretboard knowing some areas of the neck that you're you have confidence in and you you have some go-to licks and then fill in those gaps make sure you check out that backing track I'll leave the link in the description hopefully you got some new ideas on how to solo over this track thanks so much for hanging out with me we'll talk to you soon